the start of a four-game holiday homestand for the Heat is a big game Friday night in Miami. A matchup of division leaders and Eastern Conference contenders inside the Heat's house. The second of four meetings between Miami and Toronto. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. Bounce from the corner. Kaboom! Right now he's at 3.9 blocks a night. Uh, Far and away leader in the shot block department. Well, we know how many shots he affects that he doesn't block. The white side making 62% of his shots. Dragic using the white side screen. Oh, he was wide open. Found Wade instead. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. He waited one extra count right there to get Wade open at the basket. That was a good cut by Wade. Good pass. Who averages 21 points a game. Part of that. Offensive oriented back to him. Dwayne Wade. That's his second score tonight. D. Wade getting his second field goal of the night. A little step back, Jay. He works on it. It's one of his nine signature moves. Dwayne Casey, longtime NBA assistant, a guy who played co college basketball in Kentucky. Tony Fiorentino and I are both big fans of Dwayne Casey, the coach and person. Yes. White side missed oh. it. Tipped in by D. Wade. Oh, with the left hand. The Wade with six. I did some shopping today. Oh, me too, by the way, at the heat store. Yes, that, and I did a little bit. Oh, wait, he got busy, did a little shopping under the basket. Yes, twice he tapped it in, he followed a, a miss. I found three or four different things that made me forget what I was looking for in the first place. So you did some shopping as well. Dwayne Wade, double figures, he's got 10. He's moving closer and closer toward the next man on the NBA's all-time scoring list, Bob Lanier. Wade wants it back. Five on a shot clock. It's good. Running it back for a reason. That's right. Now he would have tied the score. Wade shoots over to 6'9", Johnson. Wade with 12. Eight coming in this quarter. The Yumbo has been a force as a rebounder and a rim-protecting defender. Ross made that play. You mentioned it, Eric. Green. Yes! Oh, boy. A triple under duress for Gerald Green. He has all seven of his points in this quarter. And Eric, he didn't catch that in rhythm. He had to bend down and take that bounce pass down there as calf. What he doesn't want is an abundance of mid-range shots. Wait on the move. Right side! <laughs> Catching the pass from Wade and hammering it down. Everybody's looking for Wade to put that lob up, and he's not putting a shot up. He's lobbing it to his big center. Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum accounting for 44 points again. The top scoring backward, you know who that is. Is Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. And there's Dwayne Wade moving past Bob Lanier in the sole possession of 46th place on the NBA's all time scoring list. Hall of Famer, Bob Lanier. Another Hall of Famer passed by Wade this year. Wade to his left, back to the right. On the zigzag maneuver, gets Dwayne Wade back on the scoreboard. He's got four points in a row and 19 on the game. Six straight points for the Raptors. They're up seven. Green, kaboom! The player this season has scored 30 points or more against Miami. Memphis, and they got it. The last six possessions. Now. So Indiana wins tonight at Brooklyn. Orlando wins at home against Portland. New York wins at Philly. Atlanta wins at Boston. And Toronto wins here in Miami to even the season series at a game apiece.